Hello folks, today I'm thinking about tipping. Do you live in the U.S.? Do you tip? I think if you live in the U.S., you have to tip. If you go out for anything, for the most part, nowadays. If you go to your standard cafe or food truck, they're going to have one of these touch screens. And... Back in the day, if you went to a food truck or, or like a food stand, you would hand them cash. They wouldn't even be able to take a card. And now they have one of these, these, these touch screens that ask for a tip. And it's this weird conundrum where I think tipping all began with food services. Yeah, tour guides is a good one as well. But I, in my life, I mean, I, I don't go on as many tours as some people do. Food services, I think of the classic waitress that doesn't earn enough on her own, which she should for the good work that she's doing. And sorry, I have a little bit of flooding in the basement. It's not too bad. Um, and then she ha she has the, the she has the grand incentive to press forward and communicate with people in such a lively, charming way with a steady smile and almost phony behavior, just so as to receive a better tip in some cases. And that, that, that kind of feeling, that kind of stress, uh, I have faced that before. Anytime you have a commission type job there is this that exists but ultimately you have to accept that people are people and everybody's different regardless which kind of nullifies this whole thing and just makes it seem like a interesting game but it's weird tipping is weird and i don't like it. it doesn't it doesn't make me feel comfortable i feel like the people should be covered with the given bill you don't have to do that extra bit and do that extra math like let it be what let let the let the people who run the company take care of the person and you pay the adequate amount so that they're paid right it's such a strange thing so i want to know your guys opinion on tipping i mean yeah here valet housekeeping bellman bartender tour guides the only thing i really use in all of this is food services <laughs> i mean i would tip a tour guide i would tip all these people for sure um i had an interesting situation today where i had my septic tank cleared cleaned out and I, I felt the need, I felt the inclination to tip the guy because I liked him, talked to him for a little while, and uh, I felt the we went into town and I paid him in cash, and I felt the need to tip him because I, I liked him. But it was a weird thing where it's like technically that money can go towards my sustenance and towards other good things, towards our family's. Um, a bit capacity to move in this strange world where money dictates so many things and it also doesn't dictate a lot of things and it it doesn't it doesn't uh really have to sway anything but yeah tipping is a bizarre culture and it does feel like things have gone up. Like it's more of what you used to have. Like we are on a tighter, tighter uh, belt than we used to used to have, so to speak. Where so many things back in the day that featured goods, or I mean, usually yeah, featured goods or services didn't uh, have this in mind. And nowadays, it seems like. Unless you're going to some big, some some larger store, you have to tip. <laughs> so it's it's pretty interesting. And I, in, in in the end, I think it doesn't mean much, but it's a strange, it's a strange little thing we do. <laughs> so I uh, come across a couple of quotes recently. And yeah, I don't know if you can attribute these to these people, characters, whatever they are, but this is there's, there's a lot of truth in this and there's a lot of depth to this one. I was ashamed of myself when I realized that life was a costume party and I tended with my real face. So 
yes, when you know that everything's a lie and things like war and just so much of how the system works uh, are just flat out lies and there's just families that are insulated and kind of like the true mafia or mobs, um, they are each other and whatever you want to call them, the Illuminati, whatever. Um, you have that reality, but they're not like, it's strange. It's like, I, I, I don't know exactly how it works. It's pretty weird, but they seem to track certain people and they seem to do evil things. But at the same time, if your heart is in purity in the spirit of Jesus and in the light, um, then attending with your real face is purity and is the truth of life, uh, not being hokey, but at the same time, there, there's an acknowledgement that must be made that it's called the, I, I've heard it referred to before as the sunken costs, the sunken costs fallacy where people think because of how much they've put into their life, the things that they've done in the works that they've created, that that's all that like they're worth or that's what's all that matters. But it's like life is so much more than just, than just the person that you have carved out into being often uh, molded by your surroundings. So it's a really peculiar world we live in. And then this is the truth that, you know, we all have this Atlas aspect. Every damn thing is your own fault if you're any good. And, you know, Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it's nice to feel that. It's it's the truth. It's like, you know, these evils, these darkness, this darkness in the world that exists, part of it's my fault. Part of, there's a, I may not, I shouldn't take on too much blame. Shouldn't take, But at the same time, it's like, listen to this quote. You must, you must dig in and find every single under, under every rock and find the people out there that need to hear the words of kindness and consciousness and, and good, in good faith and, um, and, and being, and being one with each other and sharing as brothers and sisters and not seeing the fake bound, binds that are created by, I guess at the end of the day, it's Satan or, you know, just. I guess, fake territory lines, fake. It's all one earth really at the end of the day. And it's all your own fault uh, for, that's not, it's not literally, it's hard. This one's tough. I mean, it's an interesting one. Um, it is your fault. You got to change things. You are, if you're an eternal God connected, then you've got to change every little moment of your life for uh, optimistic creative today. All right. And with that, you guys have a good one.